What could possibly make Miami's sunny shores even hotter? How about a major influx of Latin America's most sizzling TV stars? As many of the incredibly popular Spanish-speaking soaps called telenovelas move production from Mexico to the beaches of Florida. They're bringing with them the kind of star power and steamy plots capable of gluing millions of viewers to their television screens. Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. It's like a fish and a turkey beat themselves to death with a pepper. Before she was okay, playing for laughs as Gloria, a modern family, is making me nauseating. Sofia Vergara was the sultry Leonara on Burning for Revenge. And before his breakthrough on Dancing with the Stars, William Levy flowered as Alejandro on Love Spell. Both stars got their big breaks on telenovelas. And traditionally, those drama soaked, tear filled roller coaster shows were produced in Mexico and watched by millions of fans around the globe. But increasingly, Hispanic actors are coming here to Miami to film telenovelas. It's even being called the new Latin Tinseltown. Antonio Negrete, te tenemos rodeado. A lot of them wanted to get away from violence in their countries of origins, the Colombias, the Mexicos. And then they found the jobs here. Hmm. And it was just kismet, you know, it was, it was the marriage of opportunity with, you know, demand. Spanish speakers are the fastest growing population in the United States with a burgeoning market of second and third generation Hispanic viewers. People don't really fall in love, at least in our market, with the person that you're playing on screen. They literally will transcend that screen and fall in love with you. That's why William Levy, they know his name. They will follow him and vote for him on a Dancing with the Stars. Antonio Negrete, está rodeado. We're on the set of the hit telenovela El Talisman with a goddess like former Miss Mexico world Blanca Soto. Blanca helped catapult the previous show she starred in, Eva Luna into one of the most successful and profitable telenovelas ever. In telenovelas, the standbys are a touch of violence, a couple of well-timed slaps, and a lot of beauty. Yesterday, I found out I was pregnant. Actually, in the same day, they told me I had cancer, and then I didn't. I was pregnant. But even as American soap operas like All My Children have gone away... Mom! Mom! No! Mom! Telenovela directors like Maria Pereira figured out how to stay on top. How does that compare to what you've seen on, on network, on American network TV? I think it's different because they have like the whole show ready. We don't have the whole show ready. We work, on, you know, day by day. Everything changed in a day. Ten million people watched the finale of the telenovela Eva Luna last April. Telenovelas are able to stay profitable while American soaps struggle, in part because of the breakneck pace of production. How many scenes a day? Like 40 scenes a day. 40 scenes a day. <laughs> and the soaring popularity of telenovelas in the U.S. give plenty of opportunity for talent to cross over into the general market. When people out in Hollywood see the number 50 million Hispanics and the money that we bring to the table, and the fact that they're extremely loyal and supportive of the talent, that's already captured their heart, there's an emotional connection. So if you're smart, you're going to capitalize on that. Sofia Vergara, at the age of 17, got a spot on a Pepsi ad in Latin America. Now, she's the multi-million dollar face of Diet Pepsi internationally, not to mention Burger King and Kmart. My exclusive collection is at Kmart. Soto is immediately recognized in Miami these days. Just try getting through a coffee at the iconic Versailles restaurant. Gracias. And the opportunities for these hot new stars certainly are growing even beyond the set, says Becky Villa Escusa, who works with Vergara and Blanca Soto. So are these telenovelas, you know, sort of paving the way for these people to get into absolutely. crossover? Absolutely. First of all, they need to be talented. They need to be bilingual and they have to be uh, bicultural. And as the face of America changes, the television industry is changing with it. In normal life, you say, I love you. In telenovela, you say, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Kindly, so that I can keep up, Blanca teaches me one of the staples in telenovela acting. Déjame en paz. Soy Mateo Gutman para Nightline in Miami.